And I have to say something. I planned it in my head. I don't give a shit who you offend. But fuck Bill Gates. Fuck his mask. Fuck his vaccine. Fuck, fuck the World Health Organization. They can put their fucking vaccine in their fucking ass. school system we've been taught a certain way to uh, that kind of kills critical thinking that kind of uh, makes us not want to defy authority to set us up to be perfectly obedient pers uh, people in, in society which is uh, the best way to control the population is keep them uneducated keep them um, you know easily convinced easily manipulated and the way the society is set up is like if you don't do what you're expected of, you're you're an outcast you're weird you're you're a conspiracy theorist you're you know you you have we have to be able to to uh, to be okay with um not being liked by everybody and that's the thing i think it goes down to um people not risking to be uh t t against public opinion to do you know like i don't mind like we're all gonna die you know and so do what you love do what you want um, don't care what other people think because you know what if you get sick they're not gonna come to your hospital bed only a few handful of people me I know it's only a few so and so like you shouldn't care why do we care about everybody because they don't care about us and this is not only for COVID it's not only it's for everything like do we do we question why um, when we get sick they, they already prescribe us pills like do we quite no it's normal oh yeah so like we don't question fuck all anymore but the money rules the world and power rules the world and the government doesn't care about us doesn't care about you they don't care. They, it's about power it's about keeping their job it's about getting reelected they don't give a shit about you and i so don't think that they have our best interests at, at stake they don't care about what you eat big pharma or companies they don't want us healthy they want us you know there's no money in healthy people there's no money in dead people there's money in in between just a little bit sick dead done healthy they don't make money with me i haven't i haven't gone to the hospital in the last 15 years i don't even do checkups like you know so there's no money with me there's money in between so you get your coca-cola drink your shit eat your fast food go to the hospital a couple of times and then do your tylenol, tylenol at night because you have a headache you know don't go for a run because that's bad you know uh, you're gonna get covid if you go run outside no like it's funny how the they mandate vaccine or they mandate mask and they mandate, mandate all these things, but why don't they mandate exercise? Why don't they mandate this? Like it's, so if you're gonna go into my life, well, go everywhere or don't go at all. You know, don't tell me what to do. Tell me everything and then I'll live in a real communism, you know, or don't tell me nothing and then let's everybody live, you know, like, uh, so uh, I would say guys, I think martial arts is a great tool to, uh, to, to build discipline, build uh, anything. So if you, if you go to your local martial arts school um, and, uh, or, you know, exercise, if you don't have access to a gym, you know, run. I think it helps a lot. The, men, the, the mental, you know, depression gets, gets your endorphins, endorphin flowing, gets everything flowing. And uh, fighting is an, out, is an outlet for me and is a way for me to get attention but use that to, to, for good causes. I want to help the world. I want to influence people in a good way. 